Here we are in PowerPoint. You want to determine your size of whatever banner size you have, whether it's for YouTube, your Facebook page, they all have different dimensions. I know for mine, where I want to place mine, it's going to be 1000 by 250 pixels. Go to design, slide size, and I'm going to change this to 1000 by 250 pixels. I'm going to click on these and then press delete on my keyboard. So highlight them, press delete. I'm going to change my background. So right click, format background. To get the options to bring in a photo from online, I'm going to click picture, insert, you do have all these options where you're going to get your picture from. I'm going to get mine from online and I want it to look like a classroom. So I'm going to choose wall and floor to start with. I like this one. Notice it gives me a blue background. So if I go over here on the far right, notice my offsets. My offsets all need to be 0%. So change those to 0. And once you have them set to zero, then your floor shows up with the wall correctly. This is our background, so it can't be moved. So that's good. We want to start inserting images to make it look like a classroom. Insert pictures, online pictures. Maybe just a welcome sign. Oh, very nice. You could, of course, create your own photo that you want to put. shrink it down a little bit and I'm going to insert some text because so I'm going to use these for each of my classes. I want to know what class am I looking at. So here we have it looking for those lines that shows me that it's lined up correctly. Now I want to insert a chair because I'm going to create myself animated going across here jumping into my chair. So insert, we want another picture, transparent, there's a nice comfy looking one. I want to rotate it 180 degrees. It's an X rotation. They call that an X rotation. Shrink it down a little bit. Slide it into place. And now it's time to bring my Bitmoji over. So wherever you have your Bitmoji saved, you want to bring it in here and copy and paste it. So I copied my Bitmoji. Control V will paste my Bitmoji in because I've copied it from where I had her saved. And I'm going to create several of them. So keep hitting Control V. Get another Bitmoji, jumping Bitmoji, and then a sitting Bitmoji. So let's copy those over. V will paste my jumping Bitmoji. She's got to go on the chair. She would be right before the chair. She's going to jump into the chair. And then these guys are just going to be walking in. You can line them up and keep them equally spaced right here. I'm looking at my markers, seeing how they're equally spaced. This one needs to go up higher. You can see the line shows me. See that little red horizontal line that's dashed? That shows me that these are all the correct height. This one looks a little off. Let's take a look. Yep. There we go. And let's line this one up. I'm just looking at the spacing. Looks about right. These markers will help you. Got to move her over. She's going to be higher than the rest and she's going to jump into her seat. Okay, now that we have them all equally spaced apart, now we are going to right click and duplicate slide. And you want to keep doing that. We have eight Bitmojis, so I'm going to do that eight times because the last one is when she'll land in her seat. So keep duplicating the slide. This is the quickest, easiest way I know. You know something faster, please let me know. So I want the first slide to have my first Bitmoji and none of the rest. Highlight, delete. My second slide, I want my second Bitmoji there and the rest will be gone. 
So I'm just highlighting and deleting the rest of my Bitmojis. The third slide, guess what? We want the third one. And you're going to keep doing this until you get to the very last one. So we have them all. And if we take a look here in present, You can see as you push enter, looks like she's going right across and jumping into her seat. So to set our timings, we are in slideshow and we're going to go rehearse timings. And then you just start pressing enter until you get to the end. Let's check it out. I think I went a little too fast. Let's try it again. Let's try it out. I like that much better. So we're just going to save it. Be sure when you save your image, save as, and you want to make sure you don't save it as a PowerPoint. Well, depending on where you want to uh, share it to, it's probably better that you save it as a JPEG or PNG, or in my case, I'm going to use animated GIF, but I would choose one of these formats so that you make sure it plays nicely with where you want to share it with. I'm sharing mine. I'm posting mine actually in Google Classroom. I just like the design elements better in PowerPoint. So I need an animated GIF. So make sure you know what format you need to save it in. Here is my animated GIF for my banner. So there you have it, an animated Bitmoji scene done in PowerPoint and I've saved it to my computer and I can post it as my banner now and it'll play the animation. It plays automatically. Notice up here it says automatic. So it's going to play automatically and you want it in presenter view. Hope this was helpful. Remember, step out, be uniquely wonderful you. Have a great day. Bye.